All right, YouTubers, we're gonna now switch gears again to talk about stoichiometry and solutions. All right, as always, we'll start off with a basic definition. For any solution, you must have two components to make up that solution. The first is the solute, which is the solute, which is the substance that is dissolved. And the second component of the solution is the solvent which is the dissolving medium. Now, usually you will associate that the solute, the amount of solute is less than the amount of solvent. And while this is usually true, and is always true for IGCSE, it's not entirely true all the time, but that's okay. This is just IGCSE. Now, for solutions, they are basically Two types of solutions that you need to know about, which are unsaturated solution. That means that the solution, uh, you can still dissolve some more solutes into that solution. Okay? That means you can add more solutes into the solution and dissolve it. And you have saturated solution, which are solutions where if you add any more solutes into it, it will not dissolve any further. Now, as you might imagine, there is a relationship in between the solubility of a solution to the temperature or pressure. So, for example, if you increase the temperature, you will be able to dissolve more solutes. For example, if you add um, salt into a small glass of water, if you have half of that cup filled with salt and you put water into it, not all the salt is going to dissolve. But if you heat that cup of water, then more salt will get dissolved. All right? There is also a relationship between pressure and solubility, but let's not get down into it. Now, for all intensive purposes, what you need to know and take out of stoichiometry and solutions is are these two equations of relationship which are concentration which is simply the moles of the solute divided by the volume of the solvent and mass concentration which is the grams of the solute divided by the volume of the solvent. Let's take two examples and calculate the concentration and mass concentration for each. Alright, here we go. Nick, alright, 50 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in one cubic decimeters of water. Now the first thing you need to see is that there is, to calculate the concentration, you need moles. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we need to do? We need to convert calcium chloride, the mass of calcium chloride, to the moles. And we do that by using the um, triangular relationship between mass and moles, okay? Which is the molar mass. Okay, so mass, which is 50, will divide by the molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.5 grams per mole. And when you divide it, you will get a value. Uh, this value should be less than one. Let me pull out the nifty calculator. 50 divided by 58.5, that should be about 80, 0.85 moles. So 0.85 moles of sodium chloride. All right, so what is the concentration of this amount of solute in one liter of water? Well, it would be 0.85 moles over one cubic decimeter, which is just this. So the answer is 0.85 uh, moles per cubic decimeters. Easy. What about the mass concentration of this? Well. Using this equation here, we will take 50 grams divided by 1. 
so the mass concentration will be really huge, which will be 50 grams per cubic decimeter. Okay? Easy peasy. What about the second one? 60 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 750 centi cubic centimeters of water. Ooh. Now we're talking about cubic centimeters. What about the uh, problems that we demonstrated were all in cubic decimeters. So what is the relationship between cubic decimeters and cubic centimeters? Well, the relationship is one cubic decimeter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. All right? With that in mind, I can say that 750 cubic centimeters must be 0.75 cubic decimeters. That's the first thing I did. Secondly, I will convert 60 grams of sodium hydroxide to moles. So, what is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Well, it is 23 plus 16 plus 1 is 40. Okay? So, the MR of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams per mole. And I would take 60 grams divided by 40 grams per mole, and I would get, uh, let's see, oops, sorry. 60 divided by 40, 1.5, yeah, 1.5 moles of sodium hydroxide, okay? Now, to calculate the concentration, I would take 1.5 divided by 0.75, all right? Divided by 0.75 equals 2. So, I... When I dissolve 60 grams of sodium hydroxide, I will get in 750 cubic centimeters of water, I will get 2 moles per cubic centimeter, decimeters of sodium hydroxide. What about the mass concentration? Well, rather easy. You would take 60 and divide it by 0.75 cubic decimeters. And I should get about a mass concentration of 80. So 60 divided by 0.75 cubic decimeter, I would get 80 mass concentration of sodium hydroxide. I hope you follow these videos carefully. Um, if you have any questions, please ask in the description below.